Juro Ito, and uh, he will speak on some joint work with Hirayashu Sato on the money distance and diameter of the space and probability measures mm -hmm. and parametrics. Thank you very much. So, <coughs> uh, so I'm a uh, 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 Riemannian geometer. So I'm interested in uh, <coughs> uh, Fisher metric on the space of uh, probability measures defined on uh, 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 manifold, finite dimensional manifold. And um, uh, so the title tells you that uh, I'm interested in uh, Riemannian distance. Okay, and uh, diameter. These are very, very f uh, familiar in Riemannian geometry. Okay, but the parametrics, parametrics is not so familiar. Okay, in Riemannian geometry, but parametrics is just a uh, one um, approximation of heat kernel on the manifold, on a finite manifold. Okay, heat kernel. But uh, we can apply this parametrics, then we can uh, uh, find that the diameter is just uh, some constant, just a pi. Okay. <coughs> so, so I'm now introduce uh, uh, the setting of my of our talk. Okay. So consider. Uh, uh, M. M M is uh, just a uh, n-dimensional uh, compact connected manifold, smooth manifold. Okay, compact connected. Okay, and uh, this admit a uh, uh, Riemannian volume form with normali normalizing volume. Okay, so lambda. Lam we fixed volume. Riemannian volume form, just a probability measure, okay? <coughs> and we consider uh, the space of all probability measures uh, on this manifold, which are absolutely continuous with respect to this uh, the uh, lambda, so that the measure measure can be written in terms of uh, uh, density function p, okay, and uh, okay. so th so this space p m admit uh, uh, Riemannian metric called Fisher metric, okay, like this. And uh, so we, we are going to uh, give you a report of Riemannian geometry of uh, this manifold PM with the Fisher metric G. And the first, <coughs> first, first main theorem is just uh, theorem 101. So the Riemannian distance of this meter, uh, of this space is just given by the length function. So length function is given by this one. Okay. So this L. So ta target space is just zero pi, and uh, this is just uh, defined twice of uh, a cosine integration of uh, this square, okay. <coughs> so why, why I can explain why this function, length function. So length function, so if you choose uh, two probability measures, mu and mu one, then you can draw unique geodesic segment between them. And the length of this uh, geodesic segment 
is just given by this length function. Okay. <coughs> and this uh, Riemannian distance uh, related to some famous uh, distance in information geometry called uh, Herringer distance. Yeah? Uh, and the relation, relation is just, just this one. So this is the Herringer distance. And here, L is just a Langs function. But uh, later I'll explain this is a, a Riemannian distance of two points, mu and mu one. Okay. So, so this is just a uh, elementary definition of Riemannian distance. Okay. This is just a Riemannian distance definition of Riemannian distance. Okay. <coughs> so, just uh, infinite infinite of the length of curves, curve of a uh, set of uh, all uh, piecewise C one curves joining two points, OK? And the Riemannian distance uh, uh, satisfy three properties. So one is just a positivity, and second one is uh, symmetry, symmetricity, and third one is uh, triangle inequality, OK? So Riemannian distance satisfy triangle inequality, okay, and uh, positivity. <coughs> and the second main theorem is the following: uh, diameter. The diameter of the Riemannian manifold is just a soup of the distance over two points. Uh, sitting on on the manifold, okay. <coughs> so in our case, diameter diameter is just uh, uh, we can say that uh, diameter is just uh, uh, less than or equal pi from main theorem A, but we we can show that uh, this diameter is just a pi, okay. And uh, this theorem uh, can apply by, uh, by employing uh, parametrics of the heat kernel, as just I mentioned before. Okay? The heat kernel is just a, a fundamental solution of the heat equation. This is the heat equation. And the del delta, th this is just a Laplacian, okay? Laplace Bertrand operator. Okay. Uh, I assume the M manifold M is compact, but uh, if uh, when if M is a non-compact case, non-compact, for example, M is an Euclidean space. We need a minor. Uh, we can uh, uh, mo modify uh, compact manifold case, and uh, we can define uh, uh, space of probability measures uh, by using the uh, connected sum by uh, by open open mixture arc. Okay. So we, c we can apply the almost same argument. Okay. This is just a remark. Oh, sorry. And uh, just before uh, entering the discussion of uh, geodesic and the distance, we can uh, show you that uh, this manifold admits a topology given by uh, 
square no square root no. This this is just a uh, this this gives a uh, topology on the space of probability measure PM. And now I will, I will uh, show you that the, uh, I'll, uh, give you the what is the dis, what is the shape of the geodesic, and uh, and so on. So just before doing so, we can uh, we can define the tangent space. Uh, this is very very important. So tangent space is just a. Uh, uh, measure just a measure, but uh, integration is just a zero. Okay, this is just a tangent space at the mu at the point at the probability measure mu. But the right right hand side is uh, 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 defined in terms of. Uh, uh, Measure free, so we can we can write this uh, uh, vector space uh, script mu m. Okay. So so any any tangent space uh, gives a uh, uh, curve through the point any mu. So so we can understand we can we can define. Uh, vector field, vector field, everywhere defined, and we we call this vector field a constant vector field induced by tau. <coughs> then we can we can we can have. Uh, uh, Shape of the geodesic, okay. So let uh, mu and uh, tau. Mu is just a probability measure. Uh, tau is just a tangent vector with uh, unit norm. Then the geodesic uh, starting at mu and uh, with velocity vector tau is described in this way, okay. So, okay. So from this shape, we can we can we can also so we can draw the geodesic. So here, so here is a mu, and here is a unit tangent vector. So here is a circle, okay, and here is a. Just a hole. Just a hole. Just uh, not defined at this point. But the uh, geodesic is just a periodic. With the period is two pi. And we, we can show that uh, we can show that uh, if you have uh, to to measure, then we can we can draw a geodesic segment between them from this uh, uh, in this theorem. So here is a so geodesic segment. Between them, and uh, length length is just uh, given by length function, and also <coughs> uh, every point every point sitting for the space of probability measures.
So, so here, here is a gamma t, the point on the geodesic segment. And, but uh, here is a uh, tangent line here at mu, and here is a tangent line at mu 1. So cross here, and this is just uh, phi mu and mu 1. This is just a normalized ge geodesic mean of two measures. Okay. So what? So this theorem, two point three, gives uh, what I what I said, what I have said. So. So one, one first sentence, first statement, and the second statement, third statement, and the fourth statement. Okay. But further, further, if you if you uh, take a midpoint here, then this this is given by. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one. Good. So midpoint is given by this one. This is just a uh, uh, normalized alpha power mean of two measures, but alpha is one over two. But uh, I need a correction here. Here is L over four. But in the proceeding, we so pay, page four six six formula number seven. This is just uh, this is a correction. Okay, miss miss pre. And uh, this power mean, we, ha we have to mention uh, Professor Oha uh, Atsumi Ohara defined in the case of uh, uh, a symmetric cone omega. Okay. Okay. So now I, I, want, I want to move to. Uh, Theorem of uh, Riemannian distance. So, so we can we can uh, discuss uh, Riemannian distance if uh, we we can we can provide exponential map, okay, Riemannian manifold, and Gauss lemma, okay, and uh, uh, existence of normal uh, normal neighborhood. Okay. But uh, here, uh, to avoid uh, some difficulty in, do in defining the exponential map, we restrict ourselves to the space of uh, probability measures of uh, smooth density function. Okay. Just before I, we assume that the uh, density function is continuous, positively continuous. But uh, here we we need uh, some uh, Sobolev embedding theorem, so we, we assume uh, space is just uh, probability measures uh, having smooth density function. So we can define. Uh, as in a finite dimensional Riemannian manifold case, we can define exponential map. And so, so here, the exponential map gives a, a bijection between two small open neighborhoods. 
and also uh, we, we can prepare totally normal neighborhood around uh, any, any major mu, okay? And uh, we, can, we can show that uh, uh, Gauss lemma, Gauss lemma uh, just uh, mentioned in the, uh, in the first speaker's talk, yeah? But Gauss lemma, uh, the geodesic through mu and orthogonal, here is a geodesic mu, yeah, yeah. So here is a so geodesic starting at this point mu. So here is a, a level level set of uh, constant lengths. Okay. So here is a just a orthogonal. Okay. So we can we can show that uh, by using the uh, so Fisher Fisher information metric uh, argument treatment we can show in this way okay So this one is just a uh, uh, velocity vector, and uh, second factor is just a uh, uh, this level level surface tangent vector uh, vector tangent to level surface. Okay. So we we can show that uh, this is just a zero. Okay. And we can we can show that uh, by using these uh, three uh, instrument uh, exponential map and uh, totally normal neighborhood and uh, Gauss lemma, we can we can show that uh, uh, Riemannian uh, the length function gives a, a di Riemannian distance. And prove, prove is just uh, uh, can be shown for for for, fame, for example uh, book of uh, John Milner, okay? Most sorry. So we can obtain uh, theorem A, but uh, in the case of smooth uh, smooth, more, smooth density uh, case. But uh, in our case, uh, probability measure, uh, spatial probability measure of uh, continuous uh, function, so we can apply the modifier. So, so any uh, continuous function can be modified by a smooth uh, sequence of smooth functions. So we can apply, okay? So we, so we can get the, uh, main theorem, okay. But the remark, uh, uh, Thomas, Thomas Friedrich gives a remark that uh, uh, distance, distance is given by this, this uh, formula, but which coincides with our length function. But he does not uh, give a proof, okay. Maybe he, 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 can, he can use of uh, sphere geometry, maybe, okay? Since uh, uh, spatial probability measure with a Fisher metric is just a Riemannian manifold of section, constant sectional curvature one over four. So just a, like a round sphere, infinite dimension. But he, he imagined, but he didn't uh, prove 
So I, I must ask him, but he, he, was, uh, he was dead before, just uh, several, year, several years ago. <coughs> okay. So now I'll, okay. So, uh, <coughs> so now I, I want to move to uh, diameter is just pi. So this is just uh, uh, if this this integration goes to zero if uh, if by uh, by, uh, by taking a sequence mu i in the space of probability measure su satisfying this then uh, len uh, length function goes to pi. So this gives a diameter is equal to pi, okay? But by using, so parametrics, but uh, parametrics is just a, uh, just this one. This is just a parametric. And th this is the principal part. This principal part is just a, a heat kernel on the, of the unique Euclidean space. And this is the additional polynomial part, okay? So we can apply this uh, uh, parametrics uh, to introduce uh, some uh, uh, sequences of uh, probability measures. And we can, we can, we can show that uh, Here is a long uh, calculation, but uh, so here, let me see. Oh, let me see. So here, if uh, time ten t tend to zero, then uh, the integration must tend to zero. So this gives a, a, a diameter is equal to pi, okay? And I, I'll give final remark. So non non in non-compact manifold case, we can apply the connectedness of uh, by an um, open mixture, okay? So mixture. Okay, not exponential family. And also, so what, what, what kind of uh, uh, apply you can do in the in a, uh, parametric model? But uh, any parametric model can be embedded in a, uh, Non-parametric model, okay. So you can you can study in terms of uh, Riemannian submanifold theory, okay. So and this is a references. Okay, thank you very much.
So diameter is just the uh, <laughs> okay? Uh, from this uh, from uh, this uh, your setting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. It, it, is it generalized to uh, pi to be uh, more? No, no. <laughs> and then and I have another question. If something like a rich coverage is defined and that should Rich covered, rich covered Yeah, some, yeah. Never, never, never assume. Hopeless. In but uh, uh, the manifold is just a uh, uh, infinite dimensional Riemannian manifold of constant sectional curvature one over four. So, so rich curvature we we can we can uh, define rich curvature. Okay, since the tangent space is infinite dimensional. So rich curvature is just a trace of a sectional curvature. Okay? I have another question. Uh, you, you started by considering only uh, the C0 functions, so continuous functions. Continuous. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you, you, you lose uh, this uh, continuous function restriction, then we, we uh, break uh, uniqueness of uh, geodesic. If L1, L1, L1 density function case. Maybe, maybe not L1, but maybe at infinity. Like bounded functions are not necessarily continuous. Continuous. The formula still makes sense. Makes sense. Yes, and then and would the, the geodesics be the same? or? Same. Yeah, okay, same. So, that, so you don't need uh, C0 functions, but uh, for example, an infinity function would suffice? So C0 function is. Uh, the space of C0 function is wider than the uh, space of smooth function. Okay? But, but can you say M, M was compact in the beginning? Hmm? M, M, is not, M is not closed. No, no, that's C0. I, I'm no, no, here. Yes. So this is just a subspace. Yes, no, no, I, I mean L infinity. Hmm? Bounded functions. L infinity functions. Boundary? L, L infinity. Bounded measure. L infinity. Yes. L infinity. Yes. L infinity is just the C0. No. So, but they don't need to be continuous. No, no. Positivity. We, we assume the positivity. Okay, yeah. Right. So, C, yeah. C infinity and positivity is okay. just the C0 plus. No. L infinity can have bounded functions. But the uh, manifold M is compact, then <laughs> never, never, z never has a zero. Okay, maybe we can discuss this <laughs> later, but I don't know. Okay, are there any, any other uh, comments? Okay, if not, then let's uh, thank all speakers of this session.